side, his hands are really tight in front of his, his head, there's, there's gaps behind his ears, there's, there's always some, some gaps somewhere, even with the, even with the best guard, okay? And one of those gaps that's really hard for people to stop him from penetrating is that knee that goes right down the middle, okay? He might be checking all his kicks and everything else, and then there's gonna be this gap down the middle. So we're gonna have a look at this gap down the middle today, okay? We're just gonna set it up with a one-two, okay? I'm gonna do it two different ways. I'm gonna go one, two, and step, and I'm gonna make sure my head again, I've straight the target a little bit, and I'm not, I'm not directly in front. So I'm not gonna stand here directly in front at, at 12 o'clock. Like even if it's only a tiny little angle, that makes a difference. The more you can be thinking about these tiny little angles and finding a little advantage, the easier it's gonna be for you to understand when you're sitting here in front that this is the place that it's gonna, it's gonna go. So you need to know that that's where your head needs to go. So please, again, I harass you about it all the time. You think about this 12 o'clock all the time. So we go one, two, bomb, bomb. Now I'm outside. So I'm gonna block the hands here and I'm just gonna throw that knee straight up the middle and drive it through. Okay, I'm gonna circle my partner then. Then I'm gonna hit a one, two. So this time on the one, two, I'm gonna go one and I'm gonna step on the two. I'm gonna go two. Okay, I'm gonna hide that, that step. So I'm gonna go one, two, and I'm gonna step. One, two, and I'm gonna step. Let's hit. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Okay, and it's just to hide behind that second knee. So the first time I'm gonna go one, two, bomb. And that's the second time I'm gonna go one, two, bomb. Okay, and you're just gonna drive it up the side there. Does that look easy enough? Okay, pretty simple. Okay, so next, I'm gonna go one, two, three. So we've got one, two, three. Okay, bomb. Again, drive up the middle. Then we're gonna do the same thing again. One, two, three. And you're gonna step, okay? on that three. So I'm going to one, two, whoop, boom. On the second one, I'm going to go one, two, sit instead of a hook. He thinks it's going to be a hook because I hooked it the other time. I'm just going to step past, block the arms, drive the knee up the middle. Okay? Makes it fairly simple, doesn't it? Okay? So the next one, I'm going to go one, two, rip, hook my way around, and go. And on the next one, I'm gonna go one, two, I'm gonna rip, uppercut, pop, and step, go through. Okay, so the first one, one, two, rip, hook, cut a little angle, come. And the next one, one, two, rip, bomb, uppercut, and then come through. Okay, so I'm just doubling up. So I'm gonna step through on my rip, I'm gonna put his hands up the middle, and I'm gonna follow with the knee under the knee. Okay, so while he's busy closing his arms up, I'm looking to drive that knee through. Everyone's got uh, the opportunity to put on a belly pad today, okay? So I want your knees driving in hard. I don't want just standing here and touching. I want you here trying to drive, okay? If you drive relatively hard with your hips, hopefully I get one or two steps out of them. It shows me that I've got a little bit of penetration, okay? If you sit here and you go, and your partner isn't moving at all, you probably don't have any hips. Okay? Drive in. Okay? I got jammed with a bunch of knees on the weekend. I shouldn't have been kickboxing, but I did. And uh, I'm very successful. Okay. And it's exact thing. Alright? Um, so please have some fun with it. We're going to do three rounds off the one, two, off the one, two, three, and off the one, two, double left. Okay? Let's do it. Go apart, please. 